What up, YouTube? We're back with the Camaro, and we're about to start it up, let it warm up, since it's gonna be sitting for a couple of weeks. And that's the main reason why we picked up this car cover. Just so it won't get all dusty. Let me take it off and turn it off for you. And by the description of the video, I'm pretty sure you already know what this video is about. We're going to be removing the supercharger and getting the port and polish service from Kong. So here we go. This car has 2,256 miles. So we're gonna give it a couple of minutes and then we're gonna start tearing apart the supercharger. We're gonna start off by removing this whole intake system. All right, so now we have the intake box removed and the cone that goes onto the throttle body. Now we're gonna start removing all these clips that are holding onto the supercharger and also these right here. We might even remove all these just to get a better, um, better access to removing the supercharger so nothing could be in the way. And remove all these connectors down here. Let's get to it. All right, so we unclip all the the little plastic clips holding onto the supercharger on this side we removed the these connectors from each uh coil pack because we thought we were going to be able to uh, move this harness to the side but it looks a little more complicated than just those clips so we're just gonna leave that alone for right now what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm gonna remove the belt and i'm gonna check to see if anything else is holding on and then we're gonna go on to removing the lid which is a couple of bolts i think they're like 10 millimeters there's four in the middle and then there's some all around Back here, we also had some clips holding on to the bolts. There's three clips. And we have to get to the max sensor back there. So let me get to removing this belt and then I'll get to the bolts for the lid. We got the lid off and we could already tell that there's a bunch of oil in there. And it only has 2,000 something miles. But one thing we forgot to do before pulling off the lid is removing these two lines. So we're gonna get to that right now. We might run to the store and get the clamps just so we won't, uh, so we won't spill coolant all over the place. But that's basically it. After that, we should have both the 10 millimeters and then the supercharger should come off. All right, so we got back from Harbor Freight and we picked up this line clamp set to clamp these rubber hoses that we're gonna remove right now. And we slipped them on with some tape. It's still leaking a little bit, but there's nothing we could do about that. And then we use the clamps on the hoses. So now we're gonna remove all the 10 millimeters, like all these right here on the sides and on that side.
we were able to get it off and for this Camaro it has these two bolts back here and don't forget to disconnect this this sensor then it has four on this side and four on this side and they're 10 millimeters so as you can see it has a bunch of oil in there so that's the reason you need a catch can to send that out to Kong but well, we're gonna remove these sensors there's one here and there's another one over here and we might even remove this sensor and this sensor out on this side What we're doing is we're using a piece of tape and we're taping it to the bolt so the bolt won't come off of the sensor. So we know that this bolt belongs to this sensor and we're just gonna label them. Like this one was from uh, behind the supercharger. This one was in the front, uh, the front driver's side. And then this one was on the front driver's side as well. So we're just gonna label them with tape. So we won't lose the bolt and we can know where to put the sensors to we'll get the supercharger back. It's been a couple of days and we just got the supercharger back. So let's open it up and see how it looks. Got some Kong performance shirts. Badass. So you pull this out of the box and then I'll show you guys how it looks. Okay, before we put it back on the car, we have to remove all these uh, pieces left behind by the mounting bolts that we took out. And these bolts do have to be replaced. These are the little like washers that sit on top and then these go in the little hole. But the new bolts have them. So just make sure you remove all of them out of every single hole. Got some on this side. This is the little cap. I'm just using a little screwdriver and being real careful not to scratch anything on there. Those two pieces. Okay, another thing we have to do before we put it back in the car is put all these sensors back. And you see there's another one down here. So let me get all those back on and then we'll put it back on the car. These are the mounting bolts that we have to replace. And you could buy each one and they're about $30 each. Or you could buy this whole kit which comes with all the gaskets and stuff. And this is the part number. So I'm gonna go ahead and start replacing all these little gaskets. The ones on the supercharger look good, but might as well replace them since we have the supercharger off. So let me get to that real quick and I'll put you guys back on. We just finished replacing all these gaskets and we didn't end up replacing this one because the one on the supercharger is in good condition. So now we're gonna get ready to slap the supercharger back in the car. And we're not gonna be able to record that because we don't have a tripod right now at this moment. So. We'll put you guys back on once the supercharger is on the car. We got the supercharger in. Here in the front passenger side, there's a guide pin. And somewhere here in the middle, it has a vent that goes into the supercharger. So you have to make sure that those are in properly. And we installed the mounting bolts. And we ran them down with the ratchet. 
So now we're gonna torque them down to 89 inch pounds. Don't forget to connect the sensor back here behind the supercharger. Also get all these hoses plugged back in. Before we put the supercharger lid back on, we're gonna remove this plate and we read online that you could hear the supercharger a little more if you remove it. So we're just gonna give it a try and we're gonna replace all these gaskets that came in the kit. This is all it is. And it has like some rubber underneath. You can see they retain some of the oil in here. So I'm gonna wipe all this down and then start with the gasket. it on and we also installed the bolts but we're gonna torque them down and there is a pattern for these bolts so make sure you follow the pattern as well as for the supercharger mounting bolts We're gonna replace the stock belt with this Gates Green HD belt. And we went to O'Reilly's, we gave them the length of the stock belt and the rib count, and they pulled this out for us. So we're gonna throw it on here right now. That's it for this install. We got the serpentine belts on. We're gonna do the throttle body and the intake video separate, so make sure to check those out. The EVAP lines are gonna go on once the throttle body and the intake are on. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC Films. I'll leave that in the description down below. And we'll catch you in the next one.